Hey guys, welcome back to Basil Designs Resin with Rachel. So I am infatuated with the all of the ocean resin projects that I see because I have seen some really beautiful um, in products and I really want to learn how to make them. So I've done little projects like keychains, I did a set of dominoes, um, some coasters, and they've turned out pretty good, but my colors never seem to be really dark enough or vibrant, and I figured why not try something on a larger scale. This is the first time that I am trying an ocean resin project on a big board. So as you can see here, I have these wooden circles that I got from Amazon. They are thin, they are cheap wood. This is definitely not something that I'm going to be trying to sell. It's just for me to practice. And I have a large silicone mold that you can see there, and I decided just to prop this up on some cups, hoping that that silicone mold will catch my drips. Um, it ended up working out uh, really good and, and catching um, everything that kind of went off the edges. But this, is, this video is me practicing and trying to get this method down. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video for you, and we'll go through how I did um, and some lessons learned for sure. So I have everything ready. I didn't want to do a video on me mixing it, but I do use Let's Resin brand, as you can see in the video. I do have an affiliate link and also a coupon code that I will post in the description for you if you are interested in any kind of Let's Resin products. So here, um, I have a cup mixed. I think I mixed a total of about six ounces, which was definitely not enough in my opinion to cover um, that board. As you can see here, I'm showing you the paints I used. They are Liquitex fluid acrylics. They are not thick acrylics, they are more fluid. I had just found these colors at Michael's and I thought that they um, would probably work. And I mixed a little bit of each color into probably about two to three ounces of resin um, there for you. So like I said, these colors, I was very happy with the way the colors were vibrant because in all my other little projects, they weren't dark enough. Here I use ocean white. That is the white that I use for any kind of project that I'm doing. And it's by Let's Resin Brand. It's a really thick viscosity pigment. So it only takes a little bit to get your white to, to how you want it. Okay, so um, like I said, one of the lessons I did learn was I should have mixed more resin for this project. As you can see here, um, as I'm spreading it out on the board, um, I run out pretty quickly. And I had it envisioned in my head to cover about half this board with the sand. Well, I definitely didn't get near um, to half of the board. Um, in fact, I start scraping my cup here in just a second because that's about all that I had mixed. And, um, and then I try to spread it out to cover the area that I was wanting. So um, next time I, I go to practice, and I think I'm going to practice in the next couple of days doing another one, um, that's definitely something I'm going to do is make sure I have enough resin um, to cover it. And it doesn't hurt to have more than enough because you can always use your leftover colors to do keychains, do a coaster, you can pour extra projects. So I don't like to waste resin, but then it's also hard when you don't have enough mix. Uh, whenever I mix my resin, if you can look in the top right hand corner of the screen, I do have a, a uh, cup warmer and I have my, um, I have a uh, ceramic, um, uh, it's like a bowl, uh, actually more it's like a soup cup, and I have some water in there that I put on that cup warmer, and after I mix my resin, I always let it sit, my cup of resin, I let it sit inside that ceramic, it's a corning ware dish, I let it sit in that corning ware with some warm water, and that helps me to get the bubbles out. Um, if you let it sit for about five minutes, you'll notice that your resin becomes clear and all the bubbles will come to the surface and pop. Okay, so I think I had spread out the sand um, the best that I could with what I had. And then I have my little bottle of 91% isopropyl alcohol that I spray on there to pop any of my bubbles. 
So uh, the next color I decided to go with, I wanted to um, go ahead and go with the dark blue and work from the top now to the middle, um, even though I, I poured that sand. Um, and as you can see here, I think there was a little part in the sand that was kind of rocky, so I was trying to spread it out. And then I decided to spread the edges upwards a little bit. So then that way, whenever I poured the, um, the light blue, it would kind of blend a little bit better. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of feathering the um, sand resin upwards. I don't think it, I don't think it looks too bad. Um, full transparency. Um, I do get very hard on myself with, with crafts. I always have. Um, I am a bit of perfectionist. So if something doesn't work out, it, it does tend to frustrate me. I know that with crafting, um, you can't necessarily be uh, a perfectionist all the time. Um, of course, you're going to want your stuff to be nice, but um, you you just can't really be hard on yourself if something doesn't work out right because it is a learning process. Okay, so I'm pouring my blue on there. Again, I am very happy with these colors. I think they they are perfect. So that's definitely um, those Liquitex acrylic paints are definitely a keeper for doing my my ocean um, projects. But look here, I really didn't pour that much and I ran out so um, maybe I don't need that much dark blue but you'll see when I start pouring the other colors that I really did not have enough but this dark blue was a really pretty color so I try spreading um, that out the best that I can Okay, so for the next for the next color, I decided to go with my turquoise. I was trying to think in my head what an ocean looks like. Is it the dark blue and then the light blue or the turquoise? Or is it the dark blue, turquoise, and light blue? I don't know. Um, but I decided that um, I was going to go in the order of dark blue, turquoise, and light blue. And as you can see here, I'm pouring my light blue to kind of mix um, along the edge of the sand mixture. And that's it, you guys. There was not a lot in that cup. So at this point during the project, I was kind of panicking, thinking that I would probably not have enough. And this resin had already sat for a little while, and I was worried that if I had uh, mixed any more, that it would get to the point where it wasn't workable. But that's it. What you can see me scraping out of that cup, um, that was all I could get out of there. Okay, so I went ahead and sped up the video for you. I feel like I've done enough talking. Um, but here you can see me pouring the turquoise in. And again, I didn't have a lot of that either. Um, so I'm like, what can I do? So I got my little silicone um, spatula tool and I'm doing my best to kind of spread this out. Um, so the colors will, will touch each other and hopefully level out the best that they, they can. Um, so I was able, luckily I was able to get it to where it covered and I'm kind of making little ripple effects, trying to blend them, um, the best that I can. I didn't want to go too far into the sand. I was afraid that I would actually, um, start to pull the sand up. So something else that I'll probably do in the future um, is maybe, I don't know, I kind of really don't like the lighter blue at the bottom. Maybe pull down some of the darker um, to make it blend a little bit better. Now the white is my favorite part. Um, I got a little heavy handed with the white on this one. Um, I just kind of went to town with it and I was enjoying it so much that, um, that yeah, I kind of got out of hand with it. So, um, that is something that was a lesson learned as well. Uh, maybe not put so much white. Um, I did put a little bit of, so I put some alcohol ink in with my Let's Resin 
to help it kind of blend a little bit better. And then I also put a couple drops of Cell Maker um, in there as well. And I used my blow dryer. Um, I was afraid if I used my heat gun, it might melt my paint. And here's my final project. I think it turned out pretty good for my, my first big ocean uh, resin project. I appreciate you guys watching today. Um, stay tuned for more. Please like and subscribe um, to see what I come up with.